Hello, welcome to the bee vlog. I'm Bill. In this video I'm going to be giving an update on all of my hives as well as showing an experiment I'm going to be trying this year on the hives that involves a hole instead of using the full bottom entrance. I haven't converted all of the hives yet to this system but I've started the conversion process and all of my new hives that I'm getting this year will be getting this kind of a change. What I'm doing is instead of having this entire bottom open or even just using a reducer each box is going to be getting a hole. This is a one inch hole. I've noticed that the bees seem to have an easier time navigating in and out of a hole instead of a small reduced opening. They also guard it very well. I think this hole more closely resembles an opening in a bee tree, like a knot that they would use as their entrance. I am using a screened bottom board. You can see some of the screen here peeking out from underneath this closure here. So they do have plenty of ventilation. It is open. I'm also using a ventilated hive cover. And as I add boxes, each box will also have a hole just like that all the way up. And here's the second swarm that I caught. Right now it's in a temporary location in my backyard. I'm going to be relocating it sometime soon to a new place. You can see here that I closed off the bottom entrance so that they only use the hole. Here's Queen Elizabeth. This was a swarm that moved into my bait hive last year. They have three entrances. They've Got this bottom one that they really don't use too much. They like to use this hole in the second box. And then I just added this third box, or hmm, just added this fifth box about a month ago. And they don't use that upper entrance too much, but it's there for better ventilation. The Queen Elizabeth here survived the winter very nicely. In fact, they came out of winter as my strongest hive. They don't look really active right now because it's a little chilly right now. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. The sun hasn't really come around to hit the front of the hive yet. But when it's sunny out here, they are very active. And they actually spend a lot of time down on that uh, front landing, just kind of sunning and guarding. They don't really use it much as an entrance. So here's Queen Helen. This hive came from a cutout that I did last year. It was the one that was in the column. They had lived in that column for about four years and the homeowner had tried killing them every year and they never died. And they survived the winter very well. They're very active right now. I think they're a little bit confused in doing some orientation flights here because there were some tall weeds growing up in front of the hive that I pulled out. And they're reorienting now to the new look. One of the things I like about this hive was when it overwintered, they hardly ate any honey at all, but they came out of winter very strong. Also, they apply a lot of propolis to the inside of the hive, which I really like. Some beekeepers try to breed out that tendency to propolize everything. I think it's a good thing and a benefit to the bees, so I actually prefer that. They have an upper entrance here on the top that Last year when they had an upper entrance, they propolized it closed. So I'm going to, I'm interested to see what they're going to do with this one this year. Here's Queen Jezebel. This was the last swarm that I caught in 2013. They survived the winter, they're doing very well. They're using an upper entrance here in the hole in the box. Occasionally I'll see some bees going in there. Lots of pollen coming in. 